Hey guys, the next method that we're going to talk about, the model that we're going to talk about, is the Clark Wilson model. And this Clark Wilson model is also an integrity model. So we've talked a little bit about two other models so far, and we'll enumerate the rest of them in a little bit. But the first one was the uh, Bell La Padula. The second one was the Biba La Padula. The Bell La Padula focuses on confidentiality. The Biba focuses on integrity. And then we get into the Clark Wilson model. The Clark Wilson model is an integrity model that focuses to protect the integrity of the data and tries to make sure that you have these things that are called properly formed transactions in place. And this is kind of cool if you've never seen it before. It actually gets into what's called the access triple. You have these um, these different things that are put in place, these different objects that are put in place that make sure that you don't have corruption of data through these well-formed transactions and uh, that could be like a constrained data item or a, um, a CORBA model would be a, a pretty good example of that as well. So the access triple make sure that subjects can only access that they are allowed objects to uh, separation of duties is enforced, so people can't do things or force um, with collusion and make sure that you have integrity intact for each one of them. And then auditing of each transaction is also super important with the Clark Wilson model. So when you're going through and preparing, we'll have a subsequent video that you can also watch on the access triple, talking about the constrained data items and some of the different objects that you can get into whenever you enumerate the Clark Wilson model.